Well, what do we suppose we're going to do now? Well, friends, you'll find out right after this. Welcome back. If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Ross the Oliver Man. And today, we have a job to do that is very much important and we need the 550 for it. But first, we gotta get rid of this uh, bucket load of surplus stuff. Let's call it that. Don't freak out, Greta. How dare you? This is going to go into the recycling. Basically, through a very scientific method, I'm going to break down all of this into its most basic elements. I won't go into that more, but yeah, you might steal my process, so don't worry about it. It's going to go away, is what I'm saying. And then we're going to use this. However, I see that I'm going to have to air up my tire on the other side front because it's getting kind of droopy. So I'll probably do that first, and then I'll catch you back in a second with an empty bucket and a heart full of love. So, here we go. Ah, uh, now that's the magic of science. Let's hit the road with this sucker and get to where we're going. It's almost dark, but that's fine, you know? We gotta keep working even more now to make up for the days we were sick, you know? So. Giddy up horsey. Let's turn on some lights so we don't get run down. It's still got some of that magical elixir gas in it, so yeah. There we go. toolbox right in front of your face and then fill it with all kinds of stuff where the lid doesn't even close. That is handy. I think we're on borrowed time with that tire too so we'll probably get right out in the middle of where we're going and it'll blow. But hey, that's life. It blows. going to want to do is leave your boom pole on the back and then have it hang out in the road while you're doing something else that is safe i think we only need one and we don't even need it open all the way have you guessed what we're doing yet temporary fence.
places in it that wouldn't. We'll know when we go through the ditch how wet it is. Good. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Yeah. So we're going to have to pick our roll. I don't know which roll I want to pick. The empty roll first. That would make the most sense. And you're going to want to bring a chain and let it dangle so that you end up losing it while you're out here. Let's just wrap it around there, see. And you're gonna wanna yeah, do something completely ridiculous. Sure. Mm, yeah, wild onions. Now, we're gonna, first game we're gonna play is where is the wire? This should have been done like a month ago, and it wasn't. And obviously, deer have carried stuff away. See, wouldn't that be nice in a tire? Yeah, it sure would. But it's still connected, see? Was. All right, well, we know where our wire is. Do we even want to take this off of here? No. Let's just leave her on there. That'll remind you of me when I'm gone. Sure. Riveting video footage. Fat man walking in field. Brilliant. Breathtaking. Never saw anything like it. Sure. Can you sit on that? That's what she said, no. Okay, well. Let's see here. I'm trying to keep you in the loop, but this is not that exciting of task anyway, so probably won't. Grandpa had a super handy way to do it with an electric drill that he borrowed from me and then they never would work very good or very long after that so yeah I'm just gonna do it by hand because a lot of times in life that saves you a lot of headaches mm -hmm. well sun's going down so it's my motivation but I got that far I just gotta drive up there a little ways keep going so, that's what we'll do. Giddy up. Ha! This is almost... 
almost like exercise. Again, we'll drive past it and then walk to it. See, then we don't have to move so many times. Oh, there one got broke. Got to make sure to grab that. Try to get to that tree. still I'm very tempted to take the torch and cut this off I don't know if anybody else has opinions on that that they have done to theirs but this little piece on the end hits me right in the shin every time I get on and off so I guess I'll just set you down here and uh, pick it back up with something this isn't really exciting it's just a fat guy winding wire around a spool so do you really need to see that probably not I'll just keep bringing you back every so often and tell you about the struggles I had and, you know, the slight cardiac arrest that this amount of exercise brought on. So, until then, I'll just put the camera down and come back in a minute. More progress. More darkness. About the same level of stupidity. So, it's going. We made it all the way to the corner this time. I just got to wind up the wire till here from that post. And then go down this end and i'm thinking that i forgot one spool because i'm thinking that it's not all going to fit on there but time will tell we'll keep plugging away this may be a finish it tomorrow project but at least we got this far i'd like to get up to that tree line and then we wouldn't have but just a little end along the road so yeah we'll see how we get going but that's where we are so far more darker I don't know if it's more better, but we're more farther. So, we'll just get up here a little ways more. There's an iron post, as you recall, up there. And that's where the wire splits. So, hopefully, once we get there, we can call it a night. I'll probably go ahead and just drive up closer to that. I'm right about to here. I believe is where I stopped. Yes. So. Yeah. We're coming along. Yeah. We put it up in the dark. Why wouldn't we take it down in the dark? So, sure. Getting there. Just got to maybe a couple, three more posts until we're there. So. Probably just drive up and see if we can get to that place where the wire split, splits or stops. And then that will be our tonight's goal. All right, so we accomplished our goal. We got to the iron post. So we'll call that a video now. And I'll come out and get it another day and finish it up. But then we should be ready to hit the field here. So as always, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.